Alrighty, honey buns, it's a great day. Take your love vitamin, twin flames and soul mates. Let's see what energy surrounds you and your person at this time. Um, family, do not forget that for the month of February, we are honoring black men, uh, daddies, granddaddies, uncles, cousins, god brothers, uh, sons, grand, um, great granddads, spiritual fathers, black men. Black men, I know y'all know some black people that you can send a picture of that you support. Nephews, let's honor our black men so that they will know here on this channel that we support our black men. We believe in our black men. We love our black men. We um we trust our black men, and we we need them. We want them. Yeah, we we rock with the black men for the month of uh February. You know, the one there are men that are alive, living, that we can support. Ralph. Infinite Waters. Yeah, we support our black men. Uh, you know, a YouTuber, black guy, send send his info, his picture. Let's support our black man. All right, let's get this message for the twin flames and the soulmates. See what you all need to know, love bugs. All right, Holy Spirit. I want you to be the mother of my children. This is someone who has uh, plans for you. I hear that song in my head, When We Collide. What a beautiful disaster. All right, Holy Spirit. Your twin or your soulmate has never stopped loving you. What's the current energy around the twin flames and the soulmate? I have so much to say but can't find the words. This is someone here that has some sort of struggle and or complication around their self-esteem, dealing with low self-esteem. I never meant to make you cry. I reread our old messages and laugh how much fun we had. This is someone that enjoys and they enjoyed or they enjoy spending time with you. This is someone who has purposely tried to confuse you. The grass is greener under you. Your twin or your soulmate does not like to express their feelings or emotions. And this is somebody, I want to freak you. Yeah, you see that card say? They want to give it to you, honey. Vitamin D or vitamin P. But overall, they want you to stay. You deserve true love and I want to express that to you. I hear, um, I hear that song, Complicated. All right, Holy Spirit, let's break this down for the twin flames and the soulmates. What do they need to know about this twin or the soulmate? Put this down some so you all can see it. What do they need to know, Holy Spirit, about? I have so much to say. What does this twin or soulmate want to say? What do they need to know about this person, Holy Spirit? The strength card. This is someone here that needs, sometimes they need the willpower. This is a strong person. They've gotten strong. They've become very confident. Um, this person does have a vulnerability that you may not know about. The thing about this person right here, they could show you a lot of masculinity, show you that they're very strong on the outside, but in actuality, they have um, low self-esteem. Something makes this person vulnerable. It likely could be you, the way they feel about you, they, the way they feel about this connection, the way they feel about this uh, journey. This is also someone here that... Um, I hear that song, I can see it coming in the air tonight. You and this person do have uh, telepathy. If something this person is squinting their eyes at, somebody here may have like a little shy side to them. This could be a Leo that you're connecting with. Uh, this person right here does want to like have some sort of get together or get at her gathering or some sort of gathering here. Could be a meetup, just getting together, you know, just to have a conversation or just getting out to live life together a little more. Holy Spirit, what's the, uh, I have a little self-esteem. What do you need to know about this twin? A soulmate. Somebody here could be seeing a lot of orbs. You or your twin or your soulmate. There's a lot of white light around you all right now. I hear crowned in peace. Crowned in happiness. This could be the way your twin views you. You could you could be a very confident person. 
your confidence is making this person uh vulnerable i actually heard the word weak your confidence this person definitely does uh rely on some of your energy all right holy spirit what's the uh, low self-esteem card somebody here definitely gonna be seeing a lot of white orbs if you haven't already this can if this is a let me say this right here yep this oh look at here the empress and the emperor the page of pentacles i have low self-esteem Somebody has a hard time saying what they need and want to say. They have a hard time communicating. Yep, look there. And the nine of wands, they do. This could be someone who has trust issues. This could be someone who still has hurt and pains, whether it's um, something traumatic, something from their childhood. Here's the hair font here. This person is definitely um, aware of this connection, aware of um, the journey between the two of you all. Look at here, the tower card and the hermit card. It's something your person has been looking into. It, who, I, I, I don't know why I feel like you all could have swapped roles here. Your person could be in the form of the empress energy. This person is ready to give, ready to receive. You all are very, not only intelligent, but you are very much in tune with each other. The crystal ball here, you know your person very well, but guess what? They know you very well as well. Spiritual or religious, you all match each other with your abilities. There is something this person has seen about you, your future, the promises of you and them. It gives them hope. It gives them joy, but it does make them feel a little weak and um, vulnerable. For somebody here, your person can feel like you are a little more masculine than them. You also could come up very stable, very secure in life. This person has low self-esteem. It could also be because of what they may feel like they don't have enough to offer you. This could be someone here who, who wants to give you a lot at one time. But unfortunately, this is someone that could be needed to be uh, to understand a certain process in their life. Somebody measures things like I want to I want to wow them. I see the will of fortune, the will of fortune doing things big. Um somebody does not want you to look at them as like a mediocre person. They're used to, I hear like extravagant things or doing things extravagantly. It's like making a, making a mark. This person right here, if they've gone through a process, a pruning process is what I'm hearing. That pruning process has kind of down, they had to downgrade a lifestyle or something like that, and it's affected their self esteem because they look at you on they look at you as someone that's worth so much, but they may not have all that to offer you right now. It's a small offer. Somebody is coming in as an empress, and this person that's coming in as an empress wants to give something to the emperor. Love, time, affection, attention. It could be gifts as well. Um, but it may just be a little bit, may not be a whole lot. Somebody here wants to really make sure they match your energy, match your fly. They want you to see them how you see yourself. They want to stand out and be, they want to, they want you to see them as a very strong and confident person. But in actuality, somebody is going through a pruning process. Your twin, your soul mate is going through a pruning process. And this is someone that's having to re, um, get reacclimated to life. Yeah. This is a this is a new way of doing something for um for them. You have Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, um here, Aries. Holy Spirit, what's the um what's the I never meant to make you cry? 
Yep, the Four of Cups. This is someone here who never wanted to disappoint you. They never wanted to hurt you. They never wanted to make you feel some sort of way. They never wanted you to look at them as if you couldn't trust them, if you couldn't depend on them. This is somebody who definitely feels like, man, if I could turn back the hands of time, I wouldn't have entertained other options. I wouldn't have wasted my time um, just living life frivolously. I would have focused on this one cup. I would have focused on this empress, focused on this em empress, focused on this emperor. I wish I wouldn't have done so much. This person right here does have regrets about things they have not done, that they could have done differently. There are angels all around this connection, especially the one who is still... Um, I heard sitting in disappointment and sitting in misery. Big changes are occurring. There's going to be a major shift and a major breakdown in this connection. This is a, this is those of you all that's in this energy here. This connection right here is going to bring in happy changes. Holy Spirit, what's I read? I read, read your messages. Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Yep, the six of wands, what I told you. This connection right here, you're going to have an opportunity to be realistic. Because somebody here, for some, somebody here has to be, has to learn to be realistic with themselves or their twin or their soulmate. This relationship is moving forward. This is someone here that looks at things how they used to be, how you all used to communicate, how you all used to interact, and that's what they're reminiscing on. That's what they want. This is someone that's like, man. I just want to be strong enough to send this type of message. I just want to be strong enough to say this. I just want us to be strong enough so we can move forward. What's the um, strength card here, Holy Spirit? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What I told you. Big changes are coming. These are going to be good changes. These changes that you need and this person need. This is someone here that has cried a lot. Hurt. Disappointment. Yeah. They, this is someone that's had a hard time. Ah, oh, man. Your twin or your soulmate. This person has a, a, a serious vulnerability. A sensitivity towards life and mistakes. This can be someone that's very hard on themselves. So they're determined. They this, this this person right here is determined to not only make something right with you, but determined to shift this whole situation around so that it can be good to you and for you. Holy Spirit, what's the Empress card? The page of the page of Pentacles and the Emperor. Yep, what I told you. Here is the Sagittarius and um, um Pisces. Here's the uh Sun card, look at here, the two of cups and the king of pentacles. I hear that song, taking care of business. Every day I'll be taking care of business. This is the king of pentacles. See, somebody wants to be a provider for you. The sun card, the two of cups, and the king of pentacles. This is someone that's ready to merge. Two people are merging together to experience the beauty of their hearts, to experience a true connection, to experience true love, to experience harmony. This is Venus pulling you all together for some of you all. Someone here is embracing feminine energies. I hope you understand that and, and don't just think female. This is someone here who, who knows it's time for them to make a move, do something differently um, in the place of love. This King of Pentacles, this is someone here, they were taught a certain living to provide, to take care. If there are if there are children involved in this or a child involved in this, this is someone that wants to be able to provide for you, your child, their child, or whoever has children. This could also be a union that's coming together so that you all can co-create to be fruitful and multiply. This person right here has been planning. This person right here has been preparing. And this is someone here exactly. What they have planned for you is to make sure that you all are stable, make sure that you all are solid. And they, this person right here is ready to merge. 
this is somebody here for for those of you all that have these hard workers this person works hard for their money and their thing is they want you to treat them right because they're coming to merge their heart their energy their life with you to give you the best of them they want to give you the best of them so you can have an, ama an, an amazing experience but this is somebody here who may have to start things off from a smaller perspective this is this, this is the queen of pentacles here somebody here definitely knows that you are their venus you are their spirit wife spirit husband and they're coming to merge this you this this, this is somebody who can go ahead and expect for somebody to propose it may not happen right away, but this person already has it in their mind. They they don't they want longevity. This person wants forever. I hear that song sings like forever. You are there forever. What's the, I never meant to make you um cry in the four of cups? I keep hearing merger when we collide. What a beautiful disaster. Somebody here knows that you are wife material. This is definitely going to be a marriage that's going to take place. They want to build up to this. This is someone here that's doing that could be doing something behind the scenes, you know, like going to school, getting their credentials so they can have a good job or just applying for different jobs. They could have taken on a trade with this uh, money down here, the will of fortune. They're looking into their part of fortune to see what's favorable for them to um, make money. This is somebody who, who believes in security. They believe in the foundation of a home being solid and they may feel like, you know, man or woman, they need to have their part together. What's that? I never meant to make you cry in the four of uh, cups, Holy Spirit. Child, look here. The Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, yep, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. I don't know who needs to know this, but every time you cry, this person can hear you. And when they hear you cry, it makes them vulnerable. It makes them weak. That's a part of their weakness. You crying, you being sad, you being depressed, you being hurt, you being disappointed. Them not being able to... um put forth good effort like they want to this is someone who's had to take a slower approach because something could have slowed them down or they could have to take their time this is somebody here got a good damn twin or soulmate honey because um this person right here is taking time to make sure things are right like to secure y'all a place to live this person right here is thinking for the future it's like when you all come together, you're going to merge together. Your hearts are going to blend. But they're already preparing and planning to blend life. So this could be someone they say in the next six months, we're going to be married. In the next year, we're going to be married. This right here is a planner. But every time they're delayed, they have to disappoint you. So this is someone here who's not going to tell you anything more than likely. They're just going to do it. This person comes through and they have the proof in their hand. The proof is in the pudding. They have had a lot of obstacles, a lot of things to kind of hold them down, um, give them some problems. But the fact of the matter is, this is somebody here who's taking their time getting a job done, but getting it done right. Because they know that you are husband, husband material, wife material, but they're going to do their part. This is the Queen of Pentacles. I thought it was the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is up here. The Queen of Pentacles is, excuse me, the Queen of Pentacles is up here. The King of Pentacles is down here. One of you all could already be a little more stable, secure, more solid, in school, taking up a trade, um, have your life a little more orderly than what they do. Your person is going to come in when they feel that they have it more solid, more together. What's the six of wands here? This person right here has a lot of hopes and wishes. There's been a minor delay, just a little delay, a small little setback that has a little distance here, but they're working on it. I hear this that song, I'll be taking care of business every day. When we collide, what a beautiful disaster. This person knows that you... Um, I hear depend on them. You're, you could be rooting for them. They know that you want them to come like right now and get it done right this moment. But it's taking this person some time to manifest this ten of pentacles to be able to offer you something meaningful and something solid. I rock with this. I rock with this. Because this is somebody here who, know, who knows their role. All right, Holy Spirit, what's the six of wands? The nine of swords. They're nervous. They could be very stressed out, have a lot on their mind. But in spite of it, they're doing it. This is somebody who's working overtime, working extra hours to make sure it gets done. Um, I go to work. They're going to work a lot. 
Somebody here, you just need to know. It may not be happening right in front of your face, but it's taking place. This person right here, this twin, this soulmate is merging with you. And it's going to be a beautiful disaster when you all collide. The three of pentacles, this is the relationship that you all will be able to build and establish something solid, something real. I hear traditional. Something traditional is coming here. Two people are merging their lives to experience the beauty of their hearts. This is going to be a great merger. And this is going to be uh, very rewarding and promising. All right, Angel, how you want to close this out for them? Somebody who could be a workaholic right now. You got to trust this process, trust the vibe. Your person is doing a lot of work behind the scenes. They're not playing around. They're not goofing off. They're not wasting time. They, they're, they're not, you know, fooling around with other people. They're focused. This is somebody here that they know the promises of you and them. They know, and somebody here could even view you and them as like a power couple. They just want to be in full alignment with you. All right, Holy Spirit. Yep, I told you. Change and transition. Thank you, um, angels, for leading me safely through this change. This is a major change a person is going through to make sure it's right for you. Yep, here's a trust your vibes again. Trust what you don't see. This is going to be an act of faith also. Thank you, angels. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Learning to connect intuitively. Allowing the Holy Spirit to show you what you don't see. And even when the Holy Spirit says, no, you don't need to see this right now. Just trust me. Taking steps of faith. See right here? Balance. Thank you, angels, for bringing my life into balance. This is a lot of hard work somebody is putting in behind the scenes to make sure you don't have to be stressed out, to make sure you don't have to be worried, to make sure that they can even supply the type of life and lifestyle and happiness that they know you deserve. Somebody here has you on a pedestal, just so you know. Synchronicities, thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. This person right here, you're in sync with them. And you're going to have to trust us in this process. It may not be easy, but there is going to be a new beginning between the two of you all. Things are going to um work. I hear that song, Can You Stand the Rain? When things get moving forward, it's going to go swiftly. It's going to go good, but you're going to have to be able to stand the rain. You're going to have to understand budget. You're going to have to understand household. You're going to have to understand how to live. Somebody right here is trying to take the burden off your back so you don't have that burden and or problem. New beginning. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. This is someone here that it took them a long time for some of you all to embrace change with the Knight of Pentacles here. Others of you all, this is someone that this is something that could happen steadily, speedily, all of a sudden, with the two of cups and the sun card being here. Be prepared to merge your heart and your life with someone because that's what this person is pre preparing for. Somebody here wants marriage and they want marriage forever. So they want to make sure that they have their part. So when they come, they're coming to seal the deal. They're not coming to play. They're not coming to meal, dude. This person is coming to barbecue. There's Leo um, that just jumped out. Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, and Leo again. I'm going to do part two to see how things play out. Peace and blessing. Great day. I hope this helps you all. Namaste.